Well, here, as you can not see, we have, because it's a little blurry, blurry here, we have my materials, which is just this Winsor & Newton black ink, and jump to that cut. I am still learning editing, you guys. Please bear with me. Um, this is actually my very first, well, why this, well, this is not the first video that I created with the intention of publishing it like this on YouTube. It is, it is my very first audio recording and I am, I'm quite nervous. I'm quite nervous. I don't like how I sound on audio, but then again, I guess maybe nobody does. So here we go. This is my sweet Nosferatu painting that I did for an Inktober prompt this year, 2019. It was the legend prompt, and I had just finished watching Shadow of the Vampire, so, well, here we are. Um, I added these black bars around the side for atmosphere because it was a nice silent film that had the black bars. I don't know, I liked, I liked how it looked. Here I'm just adding in, adding in my background, background of this scene. And I tried to get some nice color variants in the walls. This is where I, only time I use this white ink in the whole thing, I was going for a stipply kind of effect on that back, on that main wall where, where, where our main silhouette is gonna end up being. I wanted some, some texture in there, so. See, you see, most of that doorway ends up very black, but it does have some color variants in there. That's why I had those initial layers, so that it sort of looks deeper. Ooh, the splattering. This is, this is a fun part. I like this. Oh, my door frame. My door frame, I, I, I definitely toned down all of the white in this drawing. Normally I'd leave a little bit of white in a, in a given drawing just for depth, value, contrast, you know, but this, this one I really didn't want any white peeking through. I toned down even the palest parts of this, of this drawing because it's a, it's a black and white film and it's got sort of a dark ambiance. I didn't want any attention drawn away from this shadow that I've started putting in right here because this shadow is is definitely our main main attraction this was hard not hard but it was challenging for me because I really wanted to do it completely freehand I wanted to just kind of go for it because I tend to be very very detail oriented in my art. I get bogged down and in fact, I have not done quite a few of the <laughs> projects I had meant to do this month because I get very very intensely focused on on a particular piece and and then the time just just flies away. But I really wanted to do this freehand Nosferatu. Today it's it's October. It's getting close to Halloween and I'm in the in the Halloween mood. Here we oh here's the silhouette. It's my favorite part. I like to uh, tint my water when I'm doing something like this because I can't I can't see that clear water. I've seen people's YouTube videos. It's beautiful. It has just completely clear water that you can't even see on camera until until they add in the ink. But I. I cannot see that, so I tint my water a little bit. Oh, look at that, it's coming together. Almost finished now, just darkening up some stuff. Oh man, you guys, thank you for watching my first voiceover YouTube video. I hope, hope it turns out well. I hope it, I think it did. I think it did. Ah, oh, there's my last shadowy, shadowy additions there at the bottom, creeping up from the bottom. And then I think I uh, dry it off. Oh yeah, yeah, I go away to dry it. I use a hair dryer 
to dry things off because I'm I'm impatient. I don't like I don't like waiting. So I don't think I've actually used that hair dryer for my hair in years, maybe. Oh, and this is another of my favorite parts: the peeling that tape off. Peeling that tape off is so satisfying, you guys. Until unless the paper rips, you have to be super careful. I have ripped so many pieces of paper yanking the tape off too quickly. Oh, don't get used to that pretty, pretty white border. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you have water left on your ruler. It just smears a bunch of gunk on the bottom of there. But that's okay. It 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 adds to it, I think. And that's it. That is the entirety of my Nosferatu drawing. I hope you enjoyed it, and I appreciate you stopping by for this my first voiceover. Um, anyways, thank you. Thank you, and goodbye. Have, have a great day. Goodbye.